Obviously, we love there to be more. But if this is it, what a ride it's been. And can I get the camera on me real quick? Because I need to say once uh, more, one, support your locals. Go. That's it, support your locals. Yeah, I love this jump scare in to do that and then get right back to what matters most. No better way to support your local right now than watching this here grand finals. Hayes versus Jonathan Numeral Integers, Diddy Kong, and We Fit Trainer. Yes, sir, trying to make this one matter. John wanting to make us go on home, take this one, and as close to a 3-0 as he possibly can manifest. Hayes looking to run this back the other way. Hey, and give us a whole second set to work with. Mm -hmm. That, if he timed that just a little earlier, that was probably the stock. Yeah, but again, probably only gonna matter if he can make it happen. And numbers with these roll distances on lock, recognizing every pixel of micro spacing he needs to find another chance. And Whoa. getting the reverse ledge hit bong grab to find his way through that flip kick was just brilliant. That being Good, said, excellent read on the ledge roll there. And we think ledge roll is exceptionally good for whatever we can put forward. Well, I was gonna say, speaking of exceptionally good, you know what's an exceptionally good anti-air? Good old limit. That's what it is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's basically limit at home. No, it's it's limit but improved in every conceivable way. Yeah, you're which right. Which is There's crazy a... to think about. I mean, there is a a time limit on it. There is, but you can just do it again and again, and it heals you too. Speaking of doing it again and again, right? That's Hayes finding these hits, rinsing and repeating these advantages, hits, these long positions at ledge, but Numbers is so good at getting out of them, the patience, he doesn't bite for anything. So all of these times Hayes is trying to push him to ledge, mm -hmm. find this conditioning, and get a catch afterwards, Numbers finds a way to reset in neutral and put him on the back foot for it. Now, what magic can we make happen now if we're Hayes in this scenario? The he drift, Numbers drifted back in and then teched away to keep ambiguous what direction he was headed. Mm -hmm. To mess up Hayes on the tech chase. Hayes, though, speaking of messing up, messing up this route out of disadvantage. Numbers having nope. no resources. Thank and because you, it was you. his second hula hoop in a row off stage, he just didn't make it quite far. I, I was just, I was like praying, Hayes, do not hit him. Do not give this man his recovery back. But he didn't. And therefore, you're still up a stock. But you also have to make sure but you for don't how give long? him a chance to prevent the extra credit. You need to find a way to open this one up just a little bit more. 37% is huge. 172, the spike hitbox not going to do it, but Dash Attack most certainly will. Now you've got a Wii Fit trainer with some extra potassium. She's not going to need it. She's just going to toss it all away. Numbers confident that he is more than capable of evening this well enough, and after two hits, just about has done so. Man, I would love to know what kind of diet Wii Fit gets on to stay as fit as she is and to hit as hard as she well, does. She just photosynthesizes. I don't know what to tell you. She's even wearing green. You have a fair point. I had not considered like, that. I don't know what all the Wii Fits eat, but I know John Numbers Wii Fit photosynthesizes. Well, John John Numbers lives off of potatoes and nothing else. Oh, I was going to say, he lives off potatoes and spikes. Mmm. Delicious spikes. The keys to focus on your balance. John spikes his potatoes. How's the tier list changed in the last couple years? He uh, he doesn't he doesn't dice his fresh potatoes. No, he spikes them and they and when they hit. Liquor. Exactly. When they hit the table or whatever he's cutting on, like when they hit the cutting board, they just are perfectly diced for consumption. So, Devin, I just, yeah. I, I, I have never seen the exclamation point John command before. Oh, oh. you have, have you never seen the John numbers? <laughs> Do you know what I, John numbers are? So, for the record, chat. I watch a lot of streams. I generally do not keep chat open. Um, and so mm. don't see funny little commands like Devin has brought to you with exclamation point John. That is a, that is a made, classic. I have not made any chat commands. Who made this chat command? I forget. It's been around. That's yeah. all you need to know. I, mean, I, I, I think I did make one, and it was about Falco being a movie director. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can find that one potentially in the future, but for now, Town and City bringing us to game number two. Numbers with a great stuff off of Hayes' ledge pressure, and once again, Down these overextensions from Hayes, right, that Numbers is getting so much mileage off of. Hayes has been in control this whole game, but all of Ooh. Numbers' hits and counter hits come off Hayes trying to push that docket a little too far. Yeah, and uh, looking a little... Huh, okay, I was expecting a... Never mind. You got him with the second reverse F tilt. Okay, air dodging away, because you can make it back. 
Attacking. Wait, what uh, the hell can can someone do exclamation point in Jeff or exclamation point helper Tech while we're at this. it? We've seen exclamation point Devin and exclamation Tech point Tech this. Tech this. Um, in the meantime, just both players going at it, keeping this one nice, close, and even. We're hooking the angel for the drop attempt, but not gonna find it. John's so good at poking with his Wii Fit pass ledge. I love the swings here. There's just some beautiful pressure coming out, but not gonna find it just yet. You know something I'm also realizing? Every time Hayes, like, this is what something all Diddy Kongs do, like, without fail. Every time Hayes dashes back to, you know, pluck a banana peel, get ready for his next, you know, I'm going to mix you five ways from Sunday. Every time he does that, Numbers has ample room to do this. Okay. Charge, get sun ready, and put on better limit. And at that point, what's the differential? What's your returns on this for letting him do this every time? You know what I'm saying? Well, it's just it's just fear, right? We fit having some of the most spikes in the game, some of the best reversal potential off stage. Diddy's a character that has a lot of tools uh -oh. until uh, in uh -oh. movement until he doesn't and gets caught in these linear recoveries that we fit can lock down really well if she's in the right position to. So you're afraid that if you don't hit your edge guard, you're just gonna die for it. Now all that said, but John, John is, is looking to close this out probably. John as soon as humanly possible. John is so good at finding just these reversals off ledge too, right? Off the dinky little hits, the up special. Oh, okay, that oh, was a little vibe. The soccer ball, the salute, the sun. And even though he's gonna lose the stock, he's one hit away. Chat, we will. I will talk a little bit about Wii Fit's placement in this game and who else has done it with this character a little bit after the game. But for now, we've got some good Smash Bros. Spoilers, going you're watching the best in the world, as voted by PG or Shoe Stats now. Mm hmm. Well, th those are very different, but please, like, I want to just, as an aside, shoe stats, PG stats, not remotely the same thing, not remotely the same algorithm, or the same process. Are they not the same people? Shoe stats actually, kind of, I love shoe stats, I think it's a really interesting project, because of the nature of it, it's very inaccurate. Hmm. However, um, we fit probably a mid-tier character, uh, maybe a little high-tier. Has a really good Steve matchup. Other notable Wii Fit players right now include Just Blue in Massachusetts, who commands the character with Steve. Xavier in the PNW, I believe, and Oolong in MDVA. Oolong or Number is probably the best Wii Fit player in the world right now. I just Also Chalky in, uh, in the UK. I just clocked in. We have made the change to Roberto. Yeah. Does and Hayes not know who he's fighting? He has a Rob, and it's a good Rob. Oh, I know, I know he has a Rob. Numbers but... is one of the best players against Rob in the world. Not only having to fight Zamba, right, for the entire time Zamba's been active in Smash, but Dill for eons. Literally a decade. Eons and centuries and... Let, I'm going to phrase... I'm They're gonna... not that old, Sonic. <laughs> I feel that way sometimes. But I'm gonna I'm gonna put it to you this way. For those who are not in the know, Zamba dodges any local in which John Numbers is a part of. Not intentional. Oh yes he does. Is it intentional? Yes. Every like with the exception of like I think two weeks ago, every single local where Zamba thinks of entering is like, is John entering? And then Devin's like, yeah, he's entering. Nah, I'm good. Listen, you just don't want you know, he does not want the smoke of to John Numbers. Well, yeah, because it, John hurts your old Lumi rank placement, right? I mean, is that at, at the local? I don't know. I mean, I I gotta wonder if that's what's going through his mind, though. No, he, he, what's going through his mind is, oh my god, I have to fight John Numbers again. Nah, I'm good. I'm he's gonna like, read the like, inner I game of tennis. He's like, I can't pay my college tuition this week. Nah, I'm good. I'll do something else. <laughs> Anyways. I will farm Wi-Fi tournaments a million times over before I fight this guy on a Wednesday, or in this case, a Saturday night, Listen. again and again. All yeah, right. chat, uh, good luck listening to what Nightbot just told you to do there. But anyways, Dill, or sorry, Hayes and John Numbers getting into it here. Numbers up 2-0 trying to find a way to lock this down. Hayes on potentially tournament stock. He has the, looking for the Z-Drop Gyro into Rotor Arm. That's something we've seen at Big Boss really popularize with the character, but it just hasn't been able to find some mark. John is locked in and determined after coming in second on his birthday this past Wednesday to take home the Xeno Saga crown in turn. What, his birthday just passed? Yeah, it was literally on Xeno. Oh, nice. And 
ladies and gentlemen, with... What? He just looked at the camera. That man knows what he did. <laughs> what the hell Sorry. was that? Tummy. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah, he looked what? directly at the camera there. That man No, I saw him put down his control and patch. He's like, good job. Yep. You did good today. He, he did this, Sonic Fiend. John. That was a tackle ball! Look at this. He hits the F smash. Watch him in the player cam when this game ends. He hits it. He it. <laughs> <laughs> clip that, chat. Clip that. I need someone to clip that a, side eye of numbers. That's a new sub notification. If I've ever <laughs> I was going to say... Can we get John Side Eye as an emo <laughs> in the House of 3000 chat? That's incredible. It's actually. absolutely beautiful. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, um, oh before man. we do our sign offs, before we do our ad reads, I'm gonna hand the headset over to Helper, who has something to share with the folks here at home. He's gonna talk shit. Yes, he is. Let's hear it. So this freaking idiot there all night go. has been putting down his pad in the most aggressive fashion, regardless of whether he won or lost. Oh. <laughs> and he's just been like, and I'm like, John, please, you're scaring everybody. You're too powerful. Hey, hey, before you go, I have one important other question for you. Uh-oh. Is, uh -oh. is it going to be about your tweet you made uh -oh. earlier? No. Is your name Jeff? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. It might be. Uh-oh. Who is to say? <laughs> Who knows? Wait, why Nobody you knows. <laughs> Who knows if his name is his name Jeff? Uh, tune in next week, same bat time, same bat channel here at Xeno. But before we go anywhere, we have a couple things we want to talk about. Speaking about things happening at different bat times and bat channels at Xeno, like bombs, bombs. That's right, they're back and in very, very great supply. That is every Monday here at House of Three Thousand. Uh, it's a little more, let's say, low key than you know, like your typical Wednesday fair. Not as, like, cutthroat, and there's also not, you know, casters, but uh, there's also going to be guaranteed quad streams, as always. Mm -hmm. Your match will be recorded. You will get those VODs and the opportunity to grind. Nobody does it like Xeno. And while we're talking about not doing it like Xeno, you might as well come to Xeno every single Wednesday with an $8 venue and $7 entry here at 21 Ludlow Street, hosted by Xeno Zero Gaming and House of 3000. They've been doing it forever. They've and been they're doing not it between two now. games. So I'll go to start.gg slash Xeno to register today, or, you know, maybe give Devin a follow over at Devin3000 on Twitter and tweet out free HO3K to help them get their Twitter back again, again. Well, yeah, they had it back for a week, and they decided, nah, that's... A whole that's, 11 days. That, that's enough tweeting for you. Get out of here. And yeah. while we're talking about things going on, let's talk about another upcoming event very soon. We have Set the Pace. That is April 27th at One Pace Plaza, also in New York. Not terribly far from here, I want to say. But, uh, yes, this is going to have players like Zamba, Sonder, Fawn, and many... Many more. They have 10 singles, uh, excuse me, 10 for entry and singles, 5 per person for doubles. It's going to be uh, another, I don't know if this is a weekly series or just like a one time, like mini regional or what have you, but more places to play Smash. Do you have the dates? Come on through. Yeah, I was going to say, this is actually the first time I'm hearing of this tournament, and I could not be more excited. But speaking of tournaments, I could not be more excited for. We've got Lock Inc. Speaking of new tournament series coming out May 3rd. Top three win a free tattoo for themselves or anyone of their choosing. Oh, that's $10 crazy, venue, actually. $10 singles. Doors open at 4. Bracket Wave A starts at 7. You get to bring a switch, a dock, and an adapter for a $5 discount. Support new locals, new events, trying to open it up. This one is 18 plus because of the nature of the venue. Yes. So please come Please, if you're of age. And if you're not, don't worry. There's so many more things. But before we get back, just a reminder, folks, none of this would be possible without the folks behind the technological wizardry that brings us you are voices that brings you these ads and everything else you see here on stream. It's Constantly improving at that. Mm -hmm. It's House of 3000, who you can follow on Twitter, slash at Devin's account, and on all other platforms at House of 3000. You can also join their Discord at House of 3000.nyc slash Discord, or email them at the listed address for any and all business inquiries. And if you're considering it, whether it should be a business inquiry, you should definitely hire them because they really are the best in the business. Their, you know, their laundry list of very, very prominent tournaments speaks for themselves, I would say. 
Looking it absolutely does. <laughs> We're doing it. It'll be a fantastic time, whether absolutely. it's Gommel or something before when you next catch House of 3000's Wizardry here on stream. But until you catch that Wizardry, I've been Ritual here with Sonic Fiend. You can find me on t Twitter down below at RitualCasts or really any other social of your choosing. And Sonic, where can they find you? I am almost exclusively on the Twitters because I believe social media is a plague, but I kind of need it to get by. That said, you can, you know, at me at SonicFiendFGC right down here if you like to talk. You know, Smash Brothers, if you like to talk, especially Pokemon training card game, I'm really big into that right now. That's been like my main focus almost. But I'm always here when I can be, casting and bringing these events to you, trying to liven up just a little bit. And folks, that's going to be it for us tonight at Xeno number 50. 353 here at Long Island number two as as, as Sonic Fiend loves to call Will it. Will John numbers be toppled uh, you know coming into Will next he? saga? Find out at Long Island 5. And same bat time, same bat channel folks. We'll be back next month. Have a good one. See ya. Have a great night everybody.